Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Cambria and today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me and it is also a collab with Rachel. So hey Rachel, thanks for collabing with me and I will have a link to her video down below in the description box and I would love for you guys to go check out her video and subscribe and I'll do all that fun stuff and if you are from Rachel's channel, hi guys. Thank you for coming to my channel and I would love for you to subscribe and join me on this journey and yeah, let's just get right into the video. The first thing I am going to start out with is some moisturizer. I'm just going I'm just going to be using the Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Moist Daily Nourishing Moisturizer. It has sunscreen. So I'm just gonna start by putting this all over my face. I like put it under my eyes and just on my nose. I do have dry skin. Um, in the winter time, well it's like combination and oily skin in the summertime. So yeah, that's what I'm going to start out by doing. Also, my eyebrows are very crazy because I haven't done them yet. So then, now that I have that on, so basically I'm just going to be talking about random things. Also, I'm shooting into a mirror, which I've never done before, so that took me quite a while to be able to set up. So then, now that I have my moisturizer on, I don't like prime or anything, but I'm just going to take the Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Cookie. And it is in the lightest shade because I am pale. And then I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Mine's a little dirty and I need to clean it, but you know, this will do. Jawline. And then working it down because I hate when people don't blend their foundation down like it really bothers me so I'm going to Wisconsin Dells this weekend which is super exciting and if you don't know what that is I think it's the biggest water park like capital of the world so basically it's like a bunch of different water parks um, in a town basically and we are going to the one called Mount Olympus and the reason why we are going is because Dalton's little brother has like a hockey tournament. And eyelids just because I do like my face to be all one color. And my eyelids are pretty veiny. So, yeah. So I'm super excited for this video because one, I get to show you guys my makeup. And two, it's a collab, which is exciting. And collabs are always fun because it's just like another way to get your name out there for YouTube and to meet new people and maybe new subscribers or just like have new people come and see your channel which that's exciting um so yeah the girl that I'm doing a collab with I already told you this in the intro but her name is Rachel Grace and she seems so sweet I've never met her in person obviously um but she found my channel and then I asked her if she wanted to do a collab and she wanted to and she is so good at makeup, like, so good. I am nothing compared to her with makeup. But if you guys like makeup tutorials or like readings from the Bible and just um, advice for school or college, definitely go check out her channel. We would be like best friends if I could meet her in real life and if we lived closer. Um, This girl named Catherine, she is 15 I believe or she's almost 16 I'm pretty sure she's 15 and she's almost 16 but she has a little boy he's like seven months I don't want to say his age and be wrong but I'm pretty sure he's seven or eight months and she's gonna be 16 in a few months um and she reached out to me and she actually lives like not that far from me which that is just crazy like I never thought that I would meet another like youtuber from like my state if that makes sense like I never thought that I would be able to meet a youtuber you know like she does she used to do videos and then she stopped because I, I think she said cause she moved or something I'm gonna meet up with her sometime soon 
go to like the mall or something which that's super exciting because she's a teen mom I can relate to her and yeah that's just so cool to me that like someone that does or did YouTube messaged me and lives close to me a touchy subject but I kind of want to talk about it anyway because like I don't know I just do also I left my hair up so that there's no foundation line so I'm sure you all heard about like the shooting in Florida which I can't even believe that another shooting happened like that literally makes me so sad and like I just can't even believe that this kind of stuff is still happening I'm gonna take a little bit more foundation but anyway I just can't even believe that this stuff is still happening and so I shared on Facebook this picture um, that my friend Amanda shared first I believe it was her that shared it I also met her through YouTube we're friends on Facebook now she's one of my subscribers um, but anyway she shared a picture and then I saw it and so then I shared it because like I liked it and like I believe in what it was and everything so basically it was a picture of talking about like all the shootings that have happened recently from like the school shootings to like all the other bad shootings that have happened recently but anyway it was saying how all of those shootings were connected with the same gun I don't want to say the name of the gun just because I don't want to be wrong and say the wrong type but I believe it was like a an A15 or something like that like like I said I don't want to say it and be wrong and then people like yell at me for saying the wrong thing but anyway I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the lightest shade as well. Um, anyway, I shared it and it was saying how basically like that the guns were the problem and not the people. Which, okay, I do believe that the guns are the problem, but I don't believe that the guns are the only problem. So basically what happened was when I shared that, a bunch of people commented on that post and were like, guns aren't the problem, it's the people, and blah 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 blah. Which I agree with. So I didn't like, I just chose not to comment back on what those people were commenting just because I don't disagree with them. I personally believe it's both a problem. I believe it's the fact that people can get their hands on guns like that but I also think it's obviously a mental thing that a person is going through to mentally think that it's okay to shoot people in the school that you were going to if that makes sense that's what I believe I'm gonna take the tip of my beauty blender to blend you know I know that people are gonna get a hold of guns if they want to no matter what just like if there's a drug problem people can get a hold of drugs no matter what you do no matter if the drug is illegal where you live or whatever it may be people can still get their hands on it if they want to and I know that but I truly believe that it's both a problem because I think it's a mental thing but I also think that you know there should be no way that people should need types of guns like that because that is a big gun like it is not just like a shotgun or like you know just something like that it is a big gun that like shoots off multiple bullets at one time I don't know a lot about guns but I know that nobody needs a gun like that just on a you know a normal basis I also read that the guy is going or the kid is like 17 I believe and he might be going on death row which a lot of people also don't believe in that but you know I think he should be on death row but at the same time maybe you should make him live and like just not like obviously not torture him but you know make him live with what he did but then again he probably should not be in our society am I bad for saying that I don't know it's just my opinion and you don't have to believe what I say that's just, I just got like a bunch of comments on that post. Which the people weren't wrong. I believe it's both the problem. It's a people problem and a gun problem. But, you know. So next I'm going my face with the Cookie HD Translucent Setting Powder. Um, do not use this stuff if 
if you use flash photography a lot or get like you know use flash photography or any kind of lighting like that a lot because there will be a white cast over your face frick i just spilt it everywhere so just so you know so basically i'm just gonna put some in the lid I'm almost out of this this is all drugstore stuff put that under my eyes and everywhere that i put concealer Today's Saturday and we are leaving tomorrow morning for Wisconsin Dells because we have to go to Dalton's Little Brother's first hockey game and then there's another one after that but I'm pretty sure Dalton said that he wants to go, he's not going to stay for that one and he wants to go to the water park or something. So yeah, it should be really fun. Okay, so next I'm going to do bronzer. This is so dirty, please do not judge me. I am going to use the NYC Smooth I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin bronzer in the shade 720A Sunny. And then I'm just going to take this brush. My camera goes in and out of focus. I'm so sorry, but you know, there's only so much I can do about it. My dad's getting me a new camera for my graduation present, so that's really nice of him. And my mom's getting me a new laptop. She was going to get me a MacBook, but those are very expensive. And my parents are not made of money by any means. Um, you know. I don't really get, this is like kind of random, but it kind of goes with the like gun situation. I don't really understand why people can't just be nice to each other. I didn't exactly hear why the kid like did what he did with his school, but I'm guessing because, I, I don't even know. I don't know if it was because he was like bullied or something. I really should have read it if I'm talking about it, but... I started to read it and then I'm pretty sure like Everly started crying or something. I just like found out like what his name was and like how old he was. But anyway, I don't know if it was because he's a bully, if he was bullied or if he was just like, just like mentally like not there like anymore or what. Because I did see some stuff where people were saying like, yeah, like I used to sit by him and at lunch and stuff and like he was a good kid and then all of a sudden something happened. So he was a normal like not normal because I don't believe in saying normal but he was like a good kid at one time so I'm not really sure what happened if you guys know you should really comment down below because I want to know also if I look crazy with bronzer on I promise it doesn't look like this in person I'm just filming by a window so it looks a little bit more intense than it really is I normally don't do my makeup at my desk but for filming and lighting purposes, this just works best for me. And it's really good lighting right here too. I use natural lighting for filming if you didn't know. I want to get a ring light once I get my nice camera. So now that I'm done with bronzer, I'm going to go in with some blush. I stole my sister's blush. So she's probably going to see this and steal it back from me. But you know, whatever. She never wears blush anyway. She wears sweatpants every day to school, so it's just Tarte in the shade Party. I'm so shaky. It's super, super pretty. I love this color. I don't like super intense blushes. I like kind of nude pinky colors, which is exactly this. And then I'm just going to go in with a blush brush yeah you guys should definitely go check out rachel's channel if you haven't already and if you're from rachel's channel you are amazing for coming to my channel and checking me out i like really appreciate it i had a cup of coffee this morning oh that's kind of a lot of blush i had a cup of coffee this morning well it was espresso but Oh my god, I put too much blush on. This is why I don't do makeup. Like, it's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, that's enough with the blush. 
now I'm going to wipe away my powder with the Real Techniques powder brush. Most of my stuff is from the drugstore. So yeah, I'm just going to wipe it away. Also, I feel like there's something in my contact. So that's really, really fun. Love when that happens. Oh, I forgot to do highlighter. I, Okay, I literally suck at makeup, so. But you know, this is kind of interesting and it's fun and like casual and it's not like serious. I'm like putting off filming, so. I honestly want for you guys to get to know me and everything like that. And so, I want you to see Wet n Wild Mega Go Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This stuff is amazing. And then I'm just going to use a fan brush. I want for you guys, obviously, to get to know me and like know who I am and everything like that because some of you guys went to high school with me but obviously still don't know me because you know we just never talked or something or I didn't like you or you didn't like me whatever the case may be but anyway then there's some people who I've never met before and are just my subscribers that live throughout the country or maybe out of the country that's really cool if you live out of the country and watch my videos that's just crazy to me but anyway I want for you guys to know who I am and I've been putting off filming a sit down the sit down video mostly because I've been doing collabs and different things but um it is the I'm gonna do a story time of how basically the lady that was like another mother to me and like raised me her story of how she died of cancer, which, ooh, that's a lot of freaking highlighter on my nose. I'm just, like, distracted because I'm talking, but that looks good. Anyway, I'm going to do the story time of how she passed away. And because that's, like, a big part of who I am today and why I am the way I am and, like, why I'm quiet and why I don't get attached to people, really, and just many different things. Um, and I've just been putting it off because I know I'm gonna like ball my eyes out when I film it and I don't like to cry on camera I don't like to cry in front of people in general I really I cry in front of like Dalton and that's basically it anyway, I've been putting off that video just because it's really sentimental really sentimental to me and I don't want hate or I don't want you know but I want to film it, I want to be able to look back on it because it still affects me today. And I just want you guys to know who I am more. So I'm going to go in with the Melissa Michelle palette from Ulta. Sorry if there's a glare. And I'm going to start out with the color Wheezy. But anyway, I want to film it. But at the same time, well, okay. It's not that I don't want to film it. I just don't want... I don't know. There's mean people out there on the internet. And not necessarily on my channel. Because I haven't really gotten hate from my channel. Which I'm super grateful for. And I don't really think anyone deserves hate. Just because... Well, besides Logan Paul, he deserves a lot of hate. Go hate on Logan Paul. Because he's a jackass. Sorry if you like Logan Paul. But anyway, I want to film it, and I'm excited for you guys to see it, but I'm not excited to film it, but I know once I'm editing it and it's up, I'm going to be excited about it, and I'm going to be excited for you guys to see it. Then, I'm going to take the shadow called Tobo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's like a dark matte chocolate color. And I'm just going to take like a crease, a crease blending brush and just use that. I hate not having a viewfinder on this camera, but you have to do what you have to do at this point, you know. It's better than my iPhone at least. So yeah, around May is when I, my channel will really be like good. 
I mean, I don't hate my channel, obviously. I love what I do. But I just want my channel to be the best that I can possibly make it, if that makes sense. So I'm just putting that in the outer corner and then blending it just so it doesn't look all crazy. I just like for there to be some transition between the shades, but like not like crazy. Next, I'm going to go in with my favorite shade from this palette. It is this shimmery shade right here. It is called Lola, and it's like this pretty champagne color. I'm going to put that on my lid. I want to do like a Q&A, but every single time I tell you guys to comment down below a question or like I'll put it on my Snapchat story, like Snapchat me questions of like you want me to answer or like I'll put it on my Instagram story and tell you guys to DM me. No one DMs me. I'm guessing because a lot of people that watch my videos, I know a lot of people um, do go to my school so like I knew who they are and I think they're just too scared to like ask me questions because I know who they are which I don't know that's just honestly kind of weird to me because okay I'm not gonna say like some people put like a screenshot of the question and, like who sent it but I'm not gonna do that just because if that's the reason why you're not sending me questions just send them okay and maybe you don't care enough to ask me questions I don't know but I just think Q&As are so fun. Sister always complains about how dumb high school is. And like, to be completely honest with you, it really is so dumb. Especially my high school, because you either have to be on top of everything, like have the best of the best. Or be a nobody, which that's fine too, but... I the shade called Teresta, and just put a very little bit on my crease, or on my lid that I've known since second grade and I heard she's changed a lot now she like went to a different school in second grade and then she transferred to our school or the, the school that I went to my whole life and she like came to my baby shower and stuff and now she literally doesn't even talk to me I mean I don't know if she just doesn't like me anymore or like what like I want to text her and snapchat her at the same time but I heard from another girl that I was talking to that she's changed a lot so like is it even worth it you know and she watches my videos too because i did a poll on instagram like who watches my videos because i was just like interested to see who does and she voted yes and i was like okay you can watch my youtube videos but you can't freaking text me or snapchat me like why like what did i ever do to you it just you really do find out who your friends are when you have a baby so next i'm going to take my tarte eyelash curler so Okay, so I curled this eyelash. Go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly in Waterproof because otherwise my makeup, like, or my mascara smudges. So, but I just, like, miss her and she was, like, my best friend in high school and I literally told her everything, but I've heard that she's changed a lot, so, like, the last time I talked to her really was my baby shower, I think think when she was there um and you really do just like find out who your real friends are my closest friend in school rosebud solve like vaseline but it's like rose it smells like roses so i'm just gonna put that on my lips Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked the way I did my makeup and everything. So yeah, if you want to, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.